Hartford Gold Centre is situated on rising ground to the southwest of the historic salt town of Northwich. In the valley of the River Weaver, that flows across the central Cheshire Plain. Hartford presents a highly picturesque parkland course offering interesting topography. varies in elevation and in gradient and slope. Two par fives, four par fours, and three par threes. Hartford is a Srixen centre of excellence with a 24 bay driving range with trackman launch monitors. In 2023 a new 18 hole adventure mini course opened themed around Alice in Wonderland which was written by the Cheshire born author Lewis Carroll. Hartford is rightly proud of its long standing teaching tradition and hosts a junior academy over 100 strong. The course offers a set of blue tees specifically for the academy players. The blues are the shortest of five sets of teeing options. The first hole is a long, curving dog leg right, whose fairway meanders and climbs with the contours at the foot of Beach Hill. The embankment of the dismantled railway to the Winnington Chemical Works lies to the right. The hole presents a relatively forgiving par 5, which offers the chance of reaching the green in two. The fairway gradually broadens to offer a generous landing area. Beyond the midpoint of the hole, the fairway is narrowed by a pond to the right, which is surrounded by a steep bevel, although it is only in play for most off the orange and purple tees. The pond is kept out of play altogether for the blue tees. This could well be the first golf shot hit on a course for many academy players. The approach to the green is guarded by a large oak tree to the left and a hawthorn tree to the right with a bunker just beyond which can capture shots falling short of the green. Further to the right the ground falls away into a gully. The long slightly uphill green has a left to right slope and is set into a steep bank. It is overlooked by a spur of trees that extend from back wood. The second hole is the first of Hartford's trio of par threes. Although it is the shortest hole off the white, purple and blue tees, it requires plenty of club as it is steeply uphill and faces into the prevailing westerly wind. It is wise to aim to the left of the flag to utilise the reasonably steep left to right slope of the green, which is flanked by younger trees to the left and back. Out of bounds lines the right of the hole. The main defence on the second is the imposing 65 yard long three tiered green. The colour of the flag indicates upon which tier the pin is placed, the front and lowest being the easiest. The tiers mean that even if you hit the green off the tee you still face a challenge to make a par. As you approach the third tees you walk to the highest section of the course and are rewarded with fine views northeast towards Winnington and Northwich with the Pennines beyond. Also apparent are the many willow and poplar trees that now grow on the lime beds historically deposited by Brunner Mons Winnington Soda Ash plant. Enjoy this viewpoint for what follows is Hartford's most difficult hole, a very testing par 5. The third curves right with the contours along the sloping shoulder of terrain that skirts the edge of the Hartford Beach Plateau. The competition tees are located at the most westerly point on the course so much so that they are almost in Weaverham. The hole is substantially less daunting for those playing off the blue and purple tees, while still presenting a challenge. Close in on the right off the tees is a straight line of younger trees and the high boundary fence with Beach Hill Farm, over which is obviously out of bounds. A shallow fairway bunker also lies on this side of the hole. This is kept out of play for the purple and blue tees. Aim slightly left to avoid the sand hit the landing area of the fairway, which is undulating with a steep right to left slope. A 
good tee shots will leave the longest hitters with a slim chance of taking on the green in two, although the second shot is where things become more challenging. The fairway rapidly narrows as the ground falls away to the left into a long, steep, wooded ravine. This is the other side of Backwoods that's seen on the first hole. A very tall beech tree stands at the hole's narrowest point. Anything falling into the gully that is not lost in the woods would require a difficult recovery shot. To rejoin the undulating and sloping fairway, the large two-tiered green tucks into the right and the flag is often partially concealed by a screening bank. Pay attention to where the pin is located on this green, otherwise a tricky putt may follow. A par on Hartford's third is a real achievement. The fourth is a short par four dog leg left. The hole descends to the most southeasterly corner of the course, with water beyond the back of the green. Although the reasonably wide fairway invites a layup with a mid to long iron or hybrid, accuracy and distance control off the downhill tees are still required, as the fairway is framed by six shallow bunkers, four of which fall in a line at around 200 yards from the back tees. A further bunker lies to the mid right of the kidney shaped plateaued green. A small copse of woodland runs close in up the left, with a series of mounds at the edge of the fairway, and a fairway bunker at 160 yards from the white tees. A slightly drawn tee shot should follow the left curve of the fairway, as well as gain some extra yards on the downhill approach. Long hitters could try to drive the green by skirting the edge of the copse of trees to the left. This can present an eagle opportunity. There is a runoff to the back of the green as the ground falls away to the pond. The fifth is a picturesque par three, with water in play all the way down the left until the uphill green. Off the back tees, it is 177 yards facing northwest, usually playing into the prevailing westerly wind. In addition to the elongated lateral water hazard, a half moon bunker lies to the front left of the green with a runoff beyond this. If you find the green off the tee, you have a good birdie chance. If miss, you could face an awkward up and down. The sixth is a straight, steeply uphill par four facing northeast with the prevailing wind behind. The hole is funneled between woodland on both sides. Beyond the block of trees to the left lies Beach Hill Farm. At 259 yards from the back tees, the narrow green is drivable with the wind behind, although the flag is partially concealed from the tees. The terrain in front of the green is undulating, with a fairway bunker to the left at 210 yards from the back tees. A second bunker lies to the immediate front right of the green, 235 yards from the whites. To the right of this stands a tall holly tree, Distance control on the approach is important as there is a steep runoff behind the green onto the fairway of the third. Miss the green and you may well be looking at a six. The par 3 seventh is Hartford's dramatic signature hole. It has been likened to the sixth at Augusta. The hole presents a steeply downhill tee shot from the crest of an escarpment facing northeast. Distance control is imperative from such an elevated tee position the prevailing wind usually off the back left. It therefore plays around 20 yards less than marked on the card and anything seriously overstruck might end up on the ninth green. A threaded tee shot is required down the wooded slopes across a small pond at the foot of the escarpment avoiding a broad oak tree to the right. A spring line runs down the escarpment to the pond. A much larger lateral pond to the left will dispatch any seriously errant tee shots. A pair of green side bunkers flank the front of a narrow two-tier green and a line of younger trees lie to the back and right. The eighth is a relatively forgiving, curving dog leg left. Facing southeast, it usually plays with the prevailing wind behind. Precision is required on the drive to thread between a tall oak tree 100 yards from the back tees and a block of trees to the left, which is out of bounds front edge of a large linear lateral pond stands 75 yards from the white tees. Wild tee shots right may find the deep drainage ditch that runs the length of the hole. 
the landing zone of the fairway is reasonably generous. A cluster of conifers and oaks protrude into the right edge of the fairway at around 240 yards from the back tees. 15 yards beyond these lies a fairway bunker. It threatens the longest hitters if they try to cut the corner and carry the block of trees to the left. So long as these hazards are avoided, the right side of the hole offers the most favourable approach line. To avoid having to carry the three bunkers that lie to the front left of the uphill and undulating green. The ninth is a short par 4 dogleg right, facing into the prevailing northwesterly wind. With three large water hazards. The fence of the driving range and a line of trees run to the right of the tees. And can obstruct second shots. The block of trees to the left is out of bounds. The front corner of the elongated first lateral pond to the left lies at 210 yards from the back tees. The stream at the edge of the fairway curves to the next pond, which is triangular. This water hazard lies to the left of the approach to the green. The long hitters and slightly faded drive should prove advantageous to follow the curve of the fairway right. The front of the attractively landscaped green is narrowed by a pair of bunkers on either side, with a curved lateral pond occupying the hollow to the right of the green, in front of the clubhouse. 